a look at the basic node manipulations that are at the heart of using Genetica. Start a new document by clicking the New button. Drag a Cells node into the empty slot. The resulting texture can be seen here. We could have dropped the node elsewhere, but it won't affect the result unless it's connected to the output slot. Let's color the image by dragging in the Colorize node. I don't want to drop the node on top of the previous one because that will replace it. Instead, drop the node beneath it. We now have a Cells node that's feeding into a Colorize node. Let's look at this again. I'm going to drag in the Gaussian Blur. If I drop it on top of the Colorize node, it will replace it. I'll click Undo. To insert it into the chain, drop it below either of the existing nodes. Now we have a Cells pattern that's getting blurred and then getting colored. Nodes can be dragged into any empty area of the workspace. But these disconnected branches won't affect the final result until they're combined with the main branch. Dragging nodes in from the library is great if you want to see what your options are. But if you know the node's name, it's faster just to type it in. Click the empty label and type in the first few letters of the node you want. Then press Enter. Click at the base of a node to insert a node below it. Replace a node with another one by clicking its name. Start disconnected branches by clicking any empty slot in the workspace. Groups are a very important part of Genetica that let you use the output of a single node in multiple places. Here we have a gradient that's feeding into a group. Clicking the Enter button will move our view into the group where we can see the gradient feeding into two different nodes. This version is getting repeated nine times, and this version is getting colored. Finally, the two versions are combined. If I move out of the group, then I can change the gradient to something else. Moving back into the group, we can see how our change has affected things. You don't actually have to worry about setting up groups. You start making your texture like normal. And whenever you want to use the output of a node in the second location, drag an additional wire from the base of that node. Then continue building the texture. Genetica will have automatically created the needed group structure. I'll move out of the group so you can see it. And now back into the group. And remember, all of this is done simply by dragging additional output wires whenever you need them. The same thing is accomplished by dragging additional copies from the inputs bar. You can also rearrange the order of the inputs by dragging. Instead of starting a texture from scratch, you can also load presets from the Start tab and modify them. When you're ready to export a texture for use in a different location, select your render size, and then click the Render Texture button. Finally, click the Export button to save the texture in the standard format. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Go to this URL for more tutorials. Thank you.